Hello, everybody. This is Gerald Salenti, and it's Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. It's, it feels like Friday the 13th. There's such so much shit going on. Ah, I'm heartbroken, heartbroken, heartbroken to see the decline of, of society around the world. Well, not only me. Anyway, your new Trends Journal is out, and it's another home run winner. And here's the cover. The cover says it all. There he is. Netanyahu's total victory equals total genocide. That's right. Total genocide. But hey, did Taylor Swift get laid at halftime? I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, what, yeah, this is the crap. Nobody cares about this stuff. Here, this is the Wall Shit Journal. Ready? Front page. High fashion struts into New York City. What high fashion? It's a pig show out there. Oh, you got you got new ripped jeans. Oh, you got your baseball cap on backwards. How about what's going on in the world? Oh, this is the big news about Israel. Inside Israel's daring hostage rescue. Oh, they oh, they great. I'm glad they rescued hostages. But how about what they're slaughtering Palestinians? What, about 114 died yesterday as they're destroying Gaza, blowing it to smithereens? No, no, we're not going to talk about that. Oh, oh, and this is the big news right now on what's going on in Israel. You ready? This is the photo that they're showing why they're destroying, blowing the place to shreds, this is from this is the Israel, the Times of Israel. IDF airs footage of Hamas leader Sinwa in Gaza tunnel. We'll catch him. Get her alive. How can you make out who that is? It's a, a shadow of nothing. But this is the propaganda that they sell. Oh, we'll get him and dead or alive. That's the same fucking bullshit spewing out of the mouth of a little dick with a prick that big and a pair of balls smaller than a pea, little Georgie Bush. That's right. Oh, you forgot. We're going to get that guy Osama bin Laden? Dead or alive? Oh, I guess I guess the Israeli press got that from, from a Biden, uh, from Bushy boy, the little daddy's boy born on third base and thought he had a home run. Oh, and 88% of the American people swallowed Bush shit. Oh, yeah. Bush shit, Biden shit, Trump shit. It's all shit. Oh, don't give me your fucking crap about Trump. He's a narcissistic freak. He backtracked on just about everything he said he was going to do. And he moved the, the, the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Totally supportive of this. Oh, he only got $100 million from Sheldon Adelson, who wanted him to do that. He only slaughtered Soleimani, brought in scumbags like Bolton and Mad Dog Mattis to destroy Venezuela. Oh, that guy Guaido is the president, I declare. Oh, yeah, that, that Trump. I could go, oh, I forgot. I, oh, I said Friday the 13th. I meant Tuesday the 13th today. March, Friday the 13th, 2020. Trump gave us the emergency. State of emergency. We're fighting the COVID war. His language. They called it a fucking war because shitheads march off to war. And I could go on. I could go on. Oh, I forgot about the Operation Warp Speed jab. The guy's only interested in himself. It's a shit show. And he's just like all of the rest of them. And here it is. Hey, politicians, who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? And here's the back of the shirt. All right? And that's where you go to get it. So, genocide being committed in front of everybody's eyes, and this thing is going to keep expanding. And we write about this because it goes into what's going on economically, is geopolitically. All things are connected. So in your trends journal, you saw what happened today in the markets. 
Oh, they went down. Oh, they went down because the street guessed that that the inflation rate would go up only 0.2%. It went up 0.3%. And they guessed that the yearly inflation rate would have gone up only 2.9%. It went up 3.1%. What the fuck are you talking about? 0.2 percentage points. The other one, 0.1%. That's not what brought down the markets. The markets are overvalued. You have a price earning ratio of only almost 26. And then you look at the you look into the uh the Nasdaq markets and they're like 32 times earnings. So it's all bullshit. And what we're writing about that you're not getting any place else in your trends journal and you better get ready for it is the banking crisis that's coming up next. The banks are going bust because the office buildings are going bust. One article after another, after another, we're detailing this like nobody else in the world is. And you're looking, you're going to start looking at the fall. So what's going on in the, in the markets now, it's totally, totally a rigged game. You got 1% of the world's population on 43% of the, the private equities. That's right. And in the United States, 1% own 54% of the markets. The 10% you bring up to 90%. So the game is rigged. Yes, there's going to be ups and downs in it. We're not saying the crash is now. We're saying it's going to happen when the banks go bust. The office building bust is real. And it's global. The study just came out. Europe. Europe is leading, is leading in office vacancies in terms of less people going back to work. So again, one of your top trends for 2023 was office building bust. And now one of your top trends for 2024 is going to be banks go bust. They're downplaying this bank corp thing that's gone down. They're saying, oh, it doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. And then you're looking at the derivatives. You're looking at, you know, one after another. This is, we're in a serious situation. And again, we're writing about all the details in the Trends Journal. And here are just some of the articles in your economic update you have, a market overview. Um, yeah, ready? Rents go down for the rich, but up for the poor. What's going on with the trade deficit? What it means between China and the United States, and how Mexico is replacing? Yeah, Mexico is replacing China. Thanks to Bill Clinton, who gave us NAFTA and sucked the jobs out of America. Where I am in upstate New York, all these places up there, about out in Ohio, all around Michigan. Manufacturing, 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 all gone. Many states, all gone, thanks to Bill Clinton. Now it's in Mexico for the cheap labor. End of story. Again, this is the 71st week of when the economy falls, jobs go with it. This job crisis that's coming is going to... it. By the way, this is important. The job crisis is real and AI is making it worse. And by the way, we have a whole section on AI, a whole section on technocracy brought to you by Joe Duran, the technocracy. I want to call him a king of that, but he knows more about it than anybody that I know. That's one of his books, Be Human. So going back to this, we're going to see big job losses. So now it goes back to the markets. Again, all things are connected. You're going to start seeing the job numbers employment numbers start to go up, unemployment rather, unemployment go up. And that's going to give the Fed excuse to lower interest rates because they're artificially blaming high employment for high, high inflation. But again, when you take the real inflation numbers and you look at John Williams shadow stats, you're in the 10% numbers. So the average person is really suffering from this inflation. And now if this U the Ukraine war is heating up, the USSA, the United Soviet States of America, 
Senate just passed another $95 billion, so $100 billion going to Ukraine to keep blooding the killing fields and to Israel to keep the genocide going. While the streets are filled with homeless, uh, migrants, infrastructure rotting, crime rising. Oh, yeah, we got the articles, what's going on in Oakland, California, what's going on in city after city with crime on the rise. What else we have here? Trends on the global economic front. What's going on in Australia? What's going on in China? And again, a whole section on top trend 2024. Banks go bust. Oh, EVs, FU, EVs, one of our top trends in 2024. It's coming to pass. All the data is here. So we tell you this because we're giving you this information. We say what's going on, what it means, what's next, our trends analysis and our trend forecast, so you could decide what to do. You decide. We're telling you you want to invest in We don't tell you what to invest in. We're saying, telling you where it's going and what's next. And it's up to you to decide. We don't do that. We, we're not financial advisors. We're trend forecasters. And the bigs keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is very important because the lower interest rates go, the more they're going to keep buying up. And the worse conditions get, the more they're going to be buying up other companies. So this thing is expanding again. And again, what's going on in China, what to expect and how that's affecting the global economy. And a whole section on the Israel war. Question Israel government, go to prison. Netanyahu, Israel war will not stop until we achieve total victory. And again, it goes back to your cover of your trends journal. Yeah, Netanyahu's total victory means total genocide. Yep, Russia, Israel's invasion of Rafah equals ethnic cleansing. Uh Report documents, unimaginable devastation in Gaza, on and on, on and on and on and on and on what they're doing here. And then again, trends on the uh, uh, on the global economic front, excuse me, trends on the uh, geopolitical front as well and what's going on and more money going to Ukraine, what's going on with Saudi Arabia, Denmark, uh, loads, loads of things going on, uh, Germany. Um, Iran, Yemen, we're giving you everything we can. And trends I views, here's one for you. More young adults are having heart attacks. You know why? Because they eat shit and are tech addicts. Boy, that's our language. That's not what they say. We give the analysis. They won't say it like that. And again, trends in high tech science by Ben Davis. Trends in AI, trends in technocracy, special articles here by uh, Gregory Manorino. Market liquidity crisis means much more war. And he says where stock prices are going to go. So you want to read this. Trends in surveillance. Ah, this week in surveillance, again. Joe Duran, trends in cryptos. Hey, cryptos, they get at their 50,000 range. And we've been bullish on cryptos. The facts are there. Going back to gold, gold went down. It's like 1991 now. So it's about 55 bucks. And um, again, it's down because they say interest rates aren't going to go down. But you have to look at this long term. They're going to lower interest rates in the run up to the presidential reality show. They want to keep the powers in power in power. And Janet Yellen, Ms. Facha Brut, the former Fed head, is our Treasury Secretary. They're going to want to keep her there. They're going to lower interest rates. The lower interest rates fall, the deeper the dollar sinks, and the higher gold prices rise. So we remain bullish on gold. We're bullish on Bitcoin and oil. The Brent crude is now trading in the $82 range even though the global economy is slowing down. And all the data is in here about the slowdowns of the global economy. So you got to look at oil prices because if Iran gets involved in this Israel war, 
you're going to see Brent crude go to $130 a barrel plus, and that's going to crash equity markets and, and the global economy. The migrant crisis that we have now is going to escalate dramatically as the global economy declines and it's in decline. Remember, it was only artificially propped up with cheap money, zero and negative interest rates and governments pumping in trillions and trillions of dollars to fight the COVID war. And going back to the presidential reality show, you know, people ask me, you know, who's going to win Biden or Trump? The people don't want either of them. And the way it looks now, it doesn't look like Biden's going to be there because there's no way in the world that he'll be able to debate. The guy's out of his mind, don't have it, and he's lost it. So it looks like the word's out now that Michelle Obama will be there. And if she goes in, she could win. Can't stand the Obamas. He's a lying, he's a lying piece of shit. A lying piece of shit that sold himself as a peace candidate and he became a piece of shit candidate. As soon as he got the Nobel Peace of Crap Prize, he had the uh, Afghan troop surge. Oh, you forgot that one. Oh, with that other arrogant boy, Petraeus, betrayed us. Yeah. Yeah. The Obama that Assad has to go and displaced over 5 million Syrians, destroyed Syria, turned it into crap. Oh, we had to fight ISIS. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you. That's the bullshit they use. Oh, and this is the Obama. Gaddafi has to go. Yeah, that Obama. Folks, folks, always folking us, folks, folks. An actor, that's all he is. A little nobody brought up by the, the Pritzker family there, where they own Hyatt Hotel, when he's a little nobody in Chicago. It's the bigs that are controlling everything. Oh, then the Pritzker, the girl became the U.S. Commerce Secretary, still in the government, running around, yeah. The big zone, everything. They're going to put into place who they want to put into place. The women will vote for Obama and the blacks will vote for Michelle Obama. And young people will vote for her. So she has a good shot of winning. Ugh. Whoever wins, we lose because both parties are crime syndicates. They both vote for war and they vote both vote to give money to the rich that Banksters are too big to fail. We're just pieces of shit. Plantation workers of slave land here. So anyway, this is your new Trends Journal's out. And tomorrow, don't forget, Salenti and the Judge, Judge Napolitano. You got to watch these. These are great. What he's saying, what he's bringing out, nobody knows, to me, nobody knows the Constitution and the Bill of Rights that have been robbed from us better than Judge Andrew Napolitano. He's a true libertarian in the sense of liberty, peace, and freedom. So thanks. See you tomorrow and subscribe to the Trends Journal. It's the grand total of what? $2.86 a week. The Wall Street Journal, $5 a day. Again, this the front page story. Again, big fashion struts into New York. Oh, then, then you go inside and over here, in this column over here, they used to have financial analysis types of stories. Now it's a picture, look at this big stupid picture of, of this, this woman holding up insect inspection. Flowers imported to the U.S. were checked for pets at Miami International Airport on Monday, two days before Valentine's Day. I'm not making this shit up. $5 a day for this, so you can afford $2.86. Five cents a week for the Trends Journal, well, 170, 200 pages a week. And none of this shit, no stupid pictures. And again, the more support we have, the more we can do. So we're giving you everything we can. So for a lousy cup of coffee a week, let's uh, join the movement for life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness and trend forecasting that you can't get anywhere else in the world. See you tomorrow. At the Trends Journal, the best investment you could make because it's the best investment into your mind and it can change how you look at the world. His work is 
actually a gold mine. Anybody interested in politics, political trends, economic trends, social trends, cultural trends, you have to follow him, Gerald Salente. The Trends Journal is one of the greatest sources of information, and it's uh, and it really is. You're predicting these things well ahead of time. I would encourage everyone to go grab the latest copy. But a Trends a Journal subscriber for 20 years. I just have to commend you. What you guys have put together in your latest Trends Journal, there's nothing like this out there. Sir, everything that you predicted about the economy, you were absolutely right. So I, I, I have followed you all this time. So please take a look at the Trends Journal. You correctly forecast that the Fed would hike rates quite aggressively. Correctly said that initially gold and silver would drop as the Fed starts to raise rates to one and a half percent and above. When we spoke last, Bitcoin was around 49,000. You said you expect to drop and if it drops below 30, 35, then it could really drop. Trends Journal, which I would encourage people to go and check out. It's actually a 200 page document, pure data driven analysis. Gerald Salenti, the top trends forecaster in the world. Gerald, you had an interesting call back in September of last year. You said gold had bottomed, which is exactly what happened. And here we are and we're above $1,900. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens at trendsjournal.com.